everyone, so welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a very special video. I am testing out two concealers at the same time. I don't think I've ever done that, but we are trying out the new Makeup by Mario concealer that came out a few weeks ago. This is the Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer, and I'm also testing out the newest release from House Labs. This concealer from House Labs is actually officially launching in a few days next week. And I got my hands on it early through the Sephora app. It was a one day only, limited quantities, and I snagged the shade that I thought would match me. They all sold out so quickly, so I landed on shade 11 Light Neutral, and then I chose the Makeup by Mario in shade number 140. So we are going to test them out. I tried the foundation from House Labs a few weeks ago, and I will share it with you in a video my thoughts on that. The cards to this section here will take you to that video if you haven't seen it. And the Makeup by Mario. I enjoy everything that I've tried so far from this brand and I haven't been disappointed. I haven't yet tried the foundation, but I thought let's start with the concealer with his complexion based products and let's see how this works. But let's take this video up to the next level and put it head to head with this one that I got in the mail yesterday. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on how they wear, which one I prefer, which one gives me more coverage, which one is easier to blend and which one wears the best throughout the rest of the day. I will annotate that in the description box for you to kind of give you some idea of which one is better as far as longevity. And we're gonna kind of get into it. I'm gonna show you the components up close, the doe foot applicator, the method of application, how I'm setting it, and then we'll kind of meet back at the end of the video and kind of give you my thoughts, my first impressions upon application and what I think so far after wearing this concealer for about an hour so far. I'm gonna continue going about my day and then report back, but we are putting these to the test today. So if you wanna see which one is better, then just keep watching. So on my face currently is just foundation, which is my Estee Lauder Devil Wear, and a little bit of my Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighten in the Fair Shade, and obviously I have my brows on, and they're already done for the day. The only thing left to do for complexion is my concealer. I'm gonna do the Makeup by Mario on my right side and the House Labs on my left. And I'm going to be using some brushes. I feel like brushes really retain the coverage and help spread the product evenly. I normally use a beauty sponge, a makeup sponge that's been slightly dampened, but sponges tend to sort of shear out the coverage a little bit and eat up some of the excess products. So I'm not really gonna get the full visibility of the coverage of these products because that's going to remove some of it whereas the brush is going to retain that so I'm going to really get to see how well these cover. I have the Angie Hot and Flashy BK Beauty Collaboration Brush, the A506 which is a great concealer brush and then another one that's kind of similar is the Luxie 233 Large Fluff Brush. I've had this brush for years but it is a dual fiber brush that I could use to blend and spread out the product. So the Makeup by Mario has that flat doe foot applicator the shade 140 seems to be quite yellow and golden, and I hope that it actually ends up working out for me. So I'm gonna take just a little bit. As you can see, shade 140 is quite yellow. And I had a difficult time. I'm gonna to talk to you as I blend this out. As far as the amount, I'm going to use what I would normally use with any other brand. I'm not gonna do anything super excessive that doesn't seem natural and comfortable to me. So this is what I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna use the Angie. A506 to blend that out. And I'm gonna start by tapping. Okay, this is very pigmented. Um, I had some issues with trying to figure out what color was gonna suit me best with the Makeup by Mario, because they just all seemed quite dark. So I was going between this shade and shade number 160. But I think this color so far, as I continue to blend, is giving me quite a bit of coverage but it's also brightening as well, which I do like. And I feel like that amount that I use is honestly quite a lot. I could probably scale that back the next time I use it. And then I'm gonna just kind of pull this down just a little bit so it's not like an obvious line. And I have an area where it's clinging right here. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but I'm gonna to have to try to see if I can really work that with the brush. I'm gonna use one side of my sponge to blend this outer edge here as it's coming onto my lid space here and blend that up towards my brow bone and soften that edge right there. So right off the bat, this is looking like 
it is providing a lot of coverage, which I do like. I don't mind a full coverage product. I am having a, an area right here where it's clinging. It could be my skin, so I'm not going to say automatically this is a no for the concealer because it could be my skin. So I have to take that into account and just sort of see if I can continue blending and patting this out. But it blended out beautifully and it makes the under eye area look perfected. I think I'm going to get much lighter look and coverage with the sponge. I think that color is very doable for me and my light sort of fair porcelain type shades in my concealers and other foundations that I may choose to mix with this. And that is the Makeup by Mario and then nothing here. And maybe you can kind of see a little bit hopefully with the lights. Maybe if I turn this light off in front of me, can you see the darkness right through here? I normally have some dark kind of purpley some bluish undertones under the eye and then here is a look with the light a little bit lower so it's not as bright the makeup by mario and then nothing so i turned my light back on and we are going to try the house labs on my left side house labs i have it in the shade 11 neutral i have some things to say about house labs as far as their formula i tried their foundation i also feel like their color system of matching skin tones is kind of tricky. The doe foot applicator is much larger on the House Labs side and it does pick up quite a bit of product. So shade 11 neutral seems to be darker than the Makeup by Mario side, but I'm going to use pretty much the same amount on this side as I did the Makeup by Mario and I'm going to use the Luxie brush to tap and blend this out. And I do think that this brush from Luxie is pretty comparable to what I'm getting with the A506 brush from BK Beauty. And I'm going to also soften the edge of that as it comes down towards where I have larger pores so it's not just like an obvious under eye only type of thing. I want it to be just a little bit more blended further down. So here's what it looks like blended with the light back on. This is the House Labs and this is the Makeup by Mario side. And then here is the light around my mirror off. This is the House Labs and then the Makeup by Mario. They both seem to have a very similar sort of finish to the skin. It's not overly dewy and super radiant and wet, creamy, juicy looking under the eyes, but it's not fully dry and matte. I'm going to leave my light off around my mirror so that it's not as bright. And just looking at it, I think I prefer the color of the Makeup by Mario, whereas this color from House Labs is probably one that would match my current skin tone with the sun that I've gotten over the summer. So I'm not upset with that color tone. It's still doable, but it's not as brightening, I would say. That's the, that's the word. It's not as brightening as the Makeup by Mario shade 140, but I do think that... The Mario side is a little bit drier and more full coverage than the House Labs. And I have a little bit of creasing already on the House Labs side, whereas the Makeup by Mario isn't, isn't too bad. I could blend this out just a little bit more, and I think I'll go back with my brush. So now that we have everything blended with the actual brushes, I'm going to use my sponge to sort of tap this out and continue blending and getting it right underneath the lower lashes and I'm going to use one side for the Makeup by Mario concealer. And then I'm going to flip my sponge over and use the other side to do the same with the House Labs. By doing that I feel like it definitely helped smooth out the under eye area and made everything look a little bit more blended. That's why I like my beauty sponges for concealer instead of brushes. But I do like the coverage that this is giving me, the brightness, the more smooth look, even though it is a bit thicker and it is a little bit more drier than the House Labs formula. I still feel like I prefer the Makeup by Mario just from initial application. And of course I'm going to set this because I always set every concealer um, 
I'm going to get creasing and I already know that. So I'm not going to pick one or the other based off of the amount of creasing because I know that happens with pretty much all concealers that I use. I get just some degree of creasing. So I'm going to use the setting powder from House Labs to set my under eye area. Which do you think so far is your favorite or looks better on camera? So I'm back. The rest of my makeup is done. I did a very simple look today. I will have everything listed for you in the description box in case you're curious about anything that I'm wearing on my face, any other makeup products that I chose to pair with the concealer today and foundation. But I think you can probably guess based off of the demo where I'm leaning towards. So far, I do like my right side better. I think the Makeup by Mario looks a little bit smoother, just more coverage. It makes the under eye area look brighter, and it just sort of lifts this side of my face just a little bit more. And I think I prefer that better than the House Labs. I think the House Labs, it's probably throwing me off because the tone is more of an exact skin tone match versus it being something that's a little bit brighter. And most of my concealers, and I have tons of them in my drawer, are going to give me coverage but also more brightness under the eye because I do personally like the way that looks versus having a concealer that's more of an exact match, which is what the House Labs is for me right now. So it's not a terrible color. The formula is a little bit thinner. Um, it has a more skincare based formulation, so that's always a plus for me. Um, they both apply very easily and blend it out very, very well. I don't have any issues except for a little patch of dryness that I had here on my right side with the Makeup by Mario. But I actually was able to continue blending and I was able to fix it and you can't even see that it was there. So again, another bonus for the Makeup by Mario side that I was able to fix a patch that just didn't blend too well for me. And it was just kind of giving me a little bit of some trouble. I was able to fix it without having to take anything off and you can't even tell at all where that spot was. And I feel like in the demo you may have been able to notice that where it kind of clings. And that is typical for any cosmetic product. If you have a patch of dryness or flaky skin, the moment you put concealer on it, foundation, powder, it's going to, it's like a magnet to that specific area and it's going to intensify and highlight that even though you don't want it to. It's just what happens when you put cosmetics on very dry skin. So I had a patch, fixed it. So I'm really happy so far with the Makeup by Mario sign. But this is more full coverage and looking at it with the setting powder, this is just a little bit more I would say just a touch more on the dry side, even with the powder. And I felt that when I was applying it as well, um, as opposed to this one here from House Labs on my left that is more, just a little bit more hydrating, just a little bit. But again, they're, they're right there pretty much neck and neck for me almost. For some reason, it's getting a little cloudy outside. I don't know why the sun is kind of playing hide and seek with me today when I have to film. So I turned my light on so you can see what the makeup looks like with the light on. And then again, Makeup by Mario, House Labs. So I would say that concealer options, I think that the deciding factor here would be if you want something that has more coverage that you can actually see that it's providing quite a bit of coverage. I would say this is full coverage. If you want to kind of scale that back and have something with more skincare based ingredients and formula, then the House Labs may be for you. I think that I personally struggled with finding my right shade in these formulas. The Makeup by Mario, I was kind of going back and forth between the 140 that I ended up purchasing and 160. I went a little lighter just because they just, to me, the photos and swatches on the Instagram page just pulled quite dark and kind of golden, to be honest with you. So I was struggling, but I think I'm happy with where I landed with the 140. Now, the House Labs, I mentioned in the review for the Triclone foundation discovery kit. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it for you and put in the cards here so you can see that. They came out with a way to sample the foundation and get a better match. The, the way of undertones that House Labs uses is geared towards the traditional makeup artistry. So the cool tones in the House Labs Triclone foundation is actually going to be opposite. So it's going to have more of a golden yellow base. The warm tone concealer or the warm tone foundation in House Labs is going to have more of a rosy pinky undertone. So again, opposite of what the W stands for. And then the neutral is supposed to be a balance between rosy and golden tones. So it's a little tricky. That's why I chose the discovery kit to find my match, which I wear shade 050 cool. And it's quite yellow 
for the foundation. So I chose to go the neutral route with the concealer. The one that was designed for that foundation color sold out like literally out of my shopping cart on the Sephora app. I went back to compare and somebody just snagged it. So I didn't get a chance to get it and that's fine. Um, I think I may try this in a lighter shade possibly. I don't know. I'll have to see how this wears throughout the day if I even like it. Um, but I do feel like the undertones for this is actually the concealer is following the normal typical undertones that you would think of. According to their website, this is going to follow your typical cool tones for the pink and, and sort of rosy tones. The N is going to be for your neutral, which is that balance of both warm and cool. The W is going to be those warm kind of golden tones. So kind of giving you some insight on what direction to go in when you're choosing your concealer shade in House Labs. So again, it's a little tricky. I would probably suggest that you go in person to see them and maybe get a swatch on your hand or have someone at Sephora help you with it because I had some trouble with the foundation and maybe it won't be the same with the concealers. I'm not sure it, when this comes out, I'm pretty sure we're gonna start seeing and hearing people's thoughts and reviews of the colors, how easy it was to match because right now this is still so new and at the time of filming this video, this product hasn't even officially launched. So I'm kind of curious to see how that ends up working out for consumers. If you purchase this after watching this video, please come back and let me know what you thought of the concealer, the formulas. Did you get a good match for yourself online or in person with the House Labs? If you've tried Makeup by Mario, also let's chat about it in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think. Tell me which side, the Makeup by Mario, House Labs, which one is better? Let me know. I'm still going to say it's Makeup by Mario and I will annotate in the description box at the end of the day what ended up happening, how I ended up liking the concealers, how they wore as I go through the rest of my day hanging out here with my kids and just going about my business today and I will let you know how I feel about it. So here's a clip that I took on my iPhone in my bathroom around 9.30 p.m. that day that I was testing these products out. And the wear time was approximately 10 hours and you can see the difference between both sides. There's a little bit of creasing to be expected. 10 hours is a long time to wear makeup. So I'm not gonna knock it. I still think the Makeup by Mario side looked better and overall wore better over the course of the day. And you can still see uh, quite a bit of darkness actually from the house lab side, more so than what was apparent in the demo clips that I took earlier that morning. So for me, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the Makeup by Mario as the one that I prefer. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope I kind of helped steer you in one direction or the other. If you have any more questions that I didn't cover in today's video, please reach out to me. I love hearing from you guys. And I will do my best to answer you as quickly as possible and to help you as much as I can. I appreciate you so much for being here, for being you. Take care. Subscribe for more videos like this. Give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. We can be friends and chat. It's on the screen. Take care, you guys, and we'll talk very soon. Bye-bye.